All right. What is up, fam? Hey, fam. Welcome back to the Red Office. We are the Office crew. You know what to do. We just go ahead and kill four people. Kill them. What the fuck? <laughs> what? I'm hungry, my nigga. I ain't eat all day. Jesus fucking Christ. As you all know, we are the office crew. You know what to do. We just four people chilling, vibing. Our he's having a good time every single day. You know what to do. Hey, hey, hey! Let's not forget, I'm new here, so let me be the first to say, you know, thanks for the introduction. Even though you didn't really give me one, but you know, oh, no, your no. boy the, introdu- the introductions hey, come up okay. right hey. now. Hey. Oh, either way, I already started. So, shit. Diamante, aka Hardy Seven Zero Three on YouTube. If you don't know who I am, look me up. Subscribe if you're new. I hope you like the content. And of course, uh, the person, listen, you guys always come around to Twitch too for some fucking reason. Now I'm Alexander. I don't even need to give myself an introduction. I'm one of the most fucked up person you'll, er, people you'll ever meet, as told by so many I- people. <laughs> and your next boy in the building is M Gamer, also known as Spiritual Gazer. Gazer. I gotta stop. No. <laughs> I gotta stop people from saying that. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> Listen, bro, it's never gonna be spiritual, man. But hey, look, Sally, your boy Tyreen could not make it, and uh, I forgot exactly why. Well, I think it had something to do with the Twitch. He never Smash seems him. to make it, but you know. No, he's, he's the, uh, up on that playing in Smash. That's really it. Yeah, he was playing that Smash, so I, he already got 17 hours in, so man, like. Damn. Pause, that sounds wrong. 17 Wait, hours in Smash? Sus. Sus. Who was he smashing? Sus. Not me. Oh. What bros was So that nigga Tyreen was not the imposter. Oh my god. Woo-hoo! Oh my fucking god. Just One just imposter left. What happened in the game though? So I I was doing my task or whatever. I came across the dead body. We was all talking. And then they they sussed me out. When I was the one that reported the body, I was the I was I'm the one that killed it and reported it on myself. That makes no sense. People always claim self-report. Like, bro, like, well, why would I kill somebody and, and then report myself? What, what, what am I gonna do? To snitch on myself? People, people are smart. Yo, but they can actually get away with it. Like, bro, like that's crazy. I know how to get away with it. Hey. Sorry to be snacking in people's ears, but for those who play Among Us, if you want to know the easiest way to self-report without getting caught, easy. Kill the body, walk away, make sure nobody see you. If nobody see you within two seconds, go back, then report the shit. Easy. And then you'd be like, look, I saw the body right here. After I just got done doing a task, make sure the task that you can say that you did is not too far from where the body is at. But you have to say the fact that you just got done doing the task. Easy. Yeah, make sure. I do it all the time and I win. You already know. Yes, sir. If you don't say nothing, it's going to look kind of sus, man. Like, whoa, where, where are you at? Man? It's like, okay, so about it was, about it was the electrical. Oh, yeah, I was an admin. Everybody said it was an admin. What the fuck you mean you was an admin? Oh, he, he vented, man. He won. No, I vented. No, if I would have vented, I would have vented in the navigation. Nah, see, I would have vented in, um, what is that room called? Um, Med Bay. Med Bay. Yeah, thank you. See, simultaneously. Hey. Hey, hey, what was that? Who playing that bullshit? I heard music. What the fuck was that? Listen, Copyright infringement. Listen here, that was Matthew. Nasty. These are going to be uploaded to Spotify. How dare you? Okay. okay. <laughs> that accident been my fault. That's the thing. You know I what? Do... That is, that's worth 50 cents. Ding. That's the thing, though. I do intend on, like, actually making a lot of this audio uh, soon up to Spotify. We'll see about that. Yeah. <laughs> what about uh, our SoundCloud? You think about doing that, too? Fuck no. Probably more Spotify than SoundCloud, honestly. Yeah, what? Spotify. So somebody could put a beat on this shit like it's a music? Like, no, we ain't doing no music. Oh, well, no, no, right? it ain't like that. Oh, sh- oh, sh- oh wait, no. Nah, so no, so Spotify will be a better Damn. option, though, man. It, it gets you more li- listeners. Yeah. No, lover beatboxer would be like. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, what? No, see. Yeah. A more advanced beatboxer would be like. 
If you want to be more advanced than that, well, sorry, you're not going to get that today. Maybe next week. A lot of this ice came off the honey bun. Now I'm looking it up like it's, uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to say that word because I don't know if that's allowed. What? Well, I, I said a lot of the ice from the iced honey bun came onto my lap. And now I'm looking it up like it's, uh, you know. Like it's a Slurpee. <laughs> Why are you licking? But like Alex, uh, have you played the uh um Ma- how do you pronounce it? Mondo's Bounty for uh, Fortnite yet? No. <laughs> yeah, All right. Played it. So, let's bring up some topics. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, this is the Ooh, part so where I have to go ahead and say. Remember, uh, this is the part where we also go ahead and mention. All right. Topics. So let's go ahead and get this out of the way, like we do every single podcast for both Red Office and Jared's cast. Most of the time, I don't actually have topics ready. If I do, it's a miracle. But I got a topic. I got a good topic for us. Okay. Let's start off with this, and this is for the wrestling fans out there. So pay attention. Okay. The Royal Rumble. Let's talk about the winners. Bianca Belair. Congratulations. Edge. Congratulations. Let's talk about Bianca first. I Me personally? Oh, well, if you want to go ahead, be my guest. Okay, well, Shit. I'll go ahead and say when it comes to Bianca Belair, I really did want her to win because I felt like this, this is kind of like, I would love to see kind of a new person kind of in a limelight. Mm-hmm. And to see kind of that inside the women's division, that's actually a really good take on it. I like to look at it like this. For one, a lot of y'all fans keep talking about some. There's been video evidence and picture proof that, hey, you look at the time when both her and Rhea Ripley came out the ring, that Bianca's feet touched the floor. I like to tell you that you're wrong because if you look closely. Oh, yeah, closely, I saw that photo too. Yeah, if you look closely, you get to see that her foot was actually up. You can see a shadow. You don't see a shadow if your feet are on the ground. But in terms of her winning, I'm happy, you know. For one, first African American woman to win a women's royal rumble. That's fantastic. And then on top of that, let's not forget for those who backtrack the NXT, she is one lady superstar who has not won the NXT Women's Championship. So for one to win and not have her prior history of being a champion, that's a champion in my book. As this far as who I would like for her to face, who I would want her to face is Shasha Banks. I agree. I agree. That would be a golden match. Honestly, when it came to me, I came in with an open mind. I hadn't. I really didn't have anybody. Um, wait, no. Cap. How do I don't say this? No, no. I really, I really didn't come with it with an open mind, though. I, I had no expectations. I wanted to go in there with an open mind. But I saw Bianca one. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, finally, so someone new in the limelight, not the same old rinse and repeat. Charlotte, 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 Charlotte. Charlotte. I just Charlotte want to say, uh, Charlotte's coming for either, either one of the belts, so don't worry, though. Keep them drawn nice and warm for Charlotte. Got to get her to the 16 title reign like her father. Right. No, right. No, like no, father, no like because right now she's fighting her father. Well, see, I heard rumors said the fact that the reason behind her and Oscar dropping the belts so soon, which was going to happen anyway, is so that way eventually there can be a program after this whole thing with. Uh, her and Lacey Evans and Oscar and whoever. Who is Oscar supposed to be feuding with? I don't remember. Either way, I heard I rumors know. speculating <laughs> that it was supposed to be Oscar and Charlotte for WrestleMania, which then leads to Charlotte winning because last time she faced Oscar, she lost, right? No, well, no, she won. No, she won, right? No, so this time it's a chance for Oscar to win. Actually, I'm correct that. But if Oscar does lose. Rip. For one, I gotta say truthfully before we get to the men's part, Oscar having this women's championship is just as pointless as back then with Dean Ambrose, John Moxley, and AEW. For those who don't know, having the U.S. title when he was in the Shield, it was great at first, but after a while, it's just a prop. You're not doing nothing with it. Not like this. The U.S. title been worthless for a long time now. <laughs> I mean, I hate to say it, as much as a lot of people don't like the things he are saying right now, 
but Ryback made it known. Ryback said it on his Twitter, but the best, and I'm going to just put it in my own words. A lot of these titles these days are props. Not a lot of people defend them. Not a lot of people do anything with them. Hey. I, uh, I think the IC title is more kind of one that's not really made to use look like more of a prop because that has been defended a lot more. That's that's not what you consider a prop then. If anything, if it's being defended a lot, that's a good thing. Yeah, so a that's prop, what, what people consider is one that is defended a lot less or not as often. Which right now really is only the the US title and the Raw Women's title. Yeah. And the ta- actually no. And both sets, not just the Raw, but SmackDown tag titles. Oh, yeah. Don't yeah. get me wrong. I- I'm happy that Rude and Ziggler won. I'm glad they beat the Street Profits. You know? But it's time y'all start defending them, Johns. And if y'all ain't going to defend, well, then what- what's the point of y'all winning? You, you feel me? Like dudes, the Street Profits. Who calls themselves Street Profits? What- like, what are you profiting? The streets. <laughs> because, because I'm black. Street. I, gotta be, I gotta be a prophet for the streets. That's tough. That's tough. But you know, hey, but hey, shout out to Rhea Ripley because at least she was one of the last women to be in the match. Charlotte Flair. I mean, I got respect for her as much as I don't like her, but she didn't need this win. And the people thought she did. And the same people who thought she did were the same people who then thought if she was the win, that it'd be pointless. And they are going to say that they're no longer going to watch, but newsflash, I'm guilty of that, and I still watch. They I'm always fine. say that, man. You know, day one, they're gonna still going to watch. So, that's that. Um, any other intake on this, though? I have to say oh, that, personally, I would have loved to see uh, one specific woman have a little bit more of a... Uh, fight time but i forgot which one i was talking about can you describe her i might know fucking off the top of my head uh does she have green hair are you thinking about tamina no tamina doesn't have green hair and tamina's irrelevant sorry i'm just saying i don't think it was the green yeah, but... i don't think it was one of the green haired ones well the green haired two are only Shotzi Blackheart, which is still in NXT for right now. I think she might get transferred to SmackDown from what I last heard. And we'll be right. That's it. I don't know anybody else with Green. I think it might have been Shotzi Blackheart, but I forgot. But I think it was She's someone... the one that rides in the tank. Yeah, but I think it was someone later on in the Rumble. Although I will say this. A lot of people, and I don't blame them, but at the same time, come on. Yeah, I know she's trying to start a family. If you really, 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 really thought that Ronda Rousey was going to come in this Rumble, I feel bad for you. <laughs> Who thought that? <laughs> she never a lot of people, when a lot of people wanted around. her to come back. And to me, I was just like, you know what? I want it too, but it's not going to happen. Well, and if it does, she's not going to win. It's going to happen. She's No, she's going to come back to the WWE in general. It's just not right now. I mean, she, hell, a lot of people still want CM Punk to come back. A lot of people thought CM Punk was going to come back last, no, not last night, Monday. Actually, no, it was last <laughs> night and last night. And what happened? Bill Brooks is not here. Sorry. Hey, they be they be making these for like for God knows how long now. Like, And then on top of that, I think he retired from UFC with two losses. Come on, who does that? You could have at least Damn, walked out with one W. <laughs> I was like, well, listen, he, he retired while he was ahead. I'll give him that. At least you made your money. Oh, and y'all yeah, saying those, man, quit, quit while you're ahead, man. But any other final thought for that part? No, I think that's, I think that's oh, it. No, I think that's it for me. All right, well, let's get to the men's rumble. So, of course, Edge. Honestly, I thought it was expected not to really ruin anybody's hopes, but I did. No. Although the one cool badass moment was having Orton come back just to drop his ass with the RKO. That was that, but, for, me, for me that was so like yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. However, the only Debbie Downer for me would be the fact that Edge in a way technically no soul to shit. Because then when Orton tries to throw you out, you reverse it and throw him up. If it was meant the fact that he was going to throw Orton out anyway, I would have at least liked it to where as though Edge, not Edge, Orton, like, brought his time together to where as though he waited a while trying to eliminate Edge rather than trying to do it instantly, and then it's like Edge just instant counters. 
Like, you're not no Super Saiyan. I'm sorry. I love you, Edge, but you don't just instant counter a finisher <laughs> like that after you just got dropped. Like, sell something. You dig? So, that's my... I mean, I'm happy Edge won. Me, personally, I would have liked Damian Priest. Um, but... It's because, for me, personally... Me. I would have liked Carlito, I was watching... <laughs> I'll be honest, though. Seeing Carlito come in, I was just like, God damn, this man's in shape. So, yeah, bravo. <laughs> Where's, where's you my apple? You forgot the spit effect, apple. bitch. You forgot the spit effect. Then he came back to Raw afterwards. I was like, oh my god. He's actually a wrestler sister again. Well, let's correct yourself here because uh, Carlito has still been wrestling just on the independence. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I'm happy he came back too. Don't get me wrong. But come on, man. <laughs> come, come on, man. Years later. No, come, come on, man. No, 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 don't try to skip past that. I know you did not just sit here and say, I wanted Carlito to win. I love the guy. <laughs> but yeah, as it Vince McMahon says, come on. no chance in hell. No, no chance in hell winning that Rumble. <laughs> Although the greatest comeback, in my opinion, got to give love to my man, Christian. Yeah, I didn't expect that. Oh, yeah, I really didn't. Him, it, it Especially with the know. wrestling attire at that. That made it worth it. And then on top of that, for those who don't know, at least from what I've heard, um, there has been reports that Christian has agreed to a part-time contract. Oh, he might get back in the ring. So will we finally get that match that we were supposed to get seven years ago from main event with him and Big E for the Intercontinental Championship before he retired due to all the concussions? <laughs> we'll know. Let me see Edge and Christian just team up this one of, more time. And as of what, this week, when it comes to Edge winning the Royal Rumble, he's went and seen all three champions? Yes. Ben Balor, Roman Reigns, which was last night, and uh, Drew McIntyre. Speaking Roman, of Drew McIntyre, I gotta say this though, really quick. Oh, well, go ahead. Uh, yeah, Roman go ahead. Reigns is coming up to him. It's just like acknowledge me. It's like, bitch, no. <laughs> acknowledge me as the head of the table, the tribal chief. You already know. Oh, okay. That's oh, that shit was a little bit loud. Wow, that shit hurt my throat. Oh, damn. <laughs> yeah, that, that, yeah, that, that did sound like it hurt too. Like what? Damn. Because I'm so used to doing it, I haven't done it in, like since like we were in high school. So I have, yeah. Oh, that hurt. Ooh. Um. Oh, speaking of high school and shit. Oh, since we were talking about Orton for a second ago, let's just. I mean, no. Have a good memory here of how I had Alex. Uh, you know, I don't know if I dropped him or he dropped me with an RKO. You dropped me outside on. Uh, I could have sworn you dropped me. No. no, I did. Yeah, I did drop you. I did drop you because I remember my arm hurting when I got up. Quite weird, but um. I want to talk about this one thing when it came down to Christian. I'm happy he came back, especially with the wrestling attire. But my thing is this why did, like, during the beginning of Orton and Edge's feud, when you know Edge, Edge got laid out after a while, and Orton was just going after different legends Big Show, Ric Flair, Christian. I think there was another one, but I can't remember from the top of my head. Um, and it's like, you know, hey. Remember, we had Orton versus Christian recently. Why did they make Christian look like such a bitch? You know how they do Christian, man. Oh, they always doing doing dirty. He's been cleared for months, dude. As reports say. I want to say that now. I don't want to say it like I know, but reports say he's been cleared for months. And they made him look like Orton's bitch. <laughs> You and think John Cena will ever come back or no? You think he's chilling right now? Uh, as far as reports say, John Cena is not coming back because of the COVID-19. And plus, he's up in Canada doing another movie or show, some shit like that. So, oh, man, I don't know. People That's just reports. Anyway. I'm only, for those who are wondering, I'm going to keep saying reports because I don't want to seem like it's a fact. Mm. You can't believe everything. But I've seen his new cut. I like it. But... You know, they said that he was up up there doing oh, yeah. something. John new. Rashall Cena, you already know. I like your cut, G. Well, <laughs> so yeah, um, but 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 speaking of John and all this other crap, so 
I want to go back to Orton for a second because one thing that um I want to get into two things. I want to talk about this one first. Him dropping Alexa Bliss with an RKO. That shit was brilliant and just perfect. Mm. Not as good as, you know, people like Mae Young and Fabulous Moolah, but that shit was crisp. My only thing is, what took so long for him to do it? I mean, I always said it was going to happen, but I feel like it took him a good while for it to take place. We just got to give it the build-up, you know? But then that leads me to my second point, then. I like product when is Bray year, coming back? What hair does Orton have right now? <laughs> I'm not saying he, I'm not saying he's bald, but what, what do you? Come on, fam. The only pro, the only hair is the beard right now. It doesn't help that he shaved his head because he did have hair, um, like the beginning of the year. No, oh, no but, but he had hair last hair. year. Yeah, remember Batista came back bald, grew his hair back out, left in 2014 to do oh, more movies, God. came back, all uh, because he was. I'm sorry, is there a cop outside my ice cream? It might be Alex, man. The, the, the I, siren are you playing moving. GTA? Because that sounded like more of the GTA siren. No. Okay. But, um, yeah, Batista came back 2014, left us. <laughs> Just like how he did, what, 2010, 2011? Either way. And, um, hey, now look, came back again. Not recently, obviously, but in a way, kind of, sort of. Just a... <sighs> Give me what I want against Triple H, and uh, he lost. And then that was his final match. Um, you know, the Dolph Ziggler show too, at the Rumble. Yeah, yeah, I think it's so. Ziggler. Yeah, I just think uh, Bobby, because I'm not saying Robert, because Robert was just a TNA. So for those who used to watch TNA, a, but for those who don't or never have, I'm not calling him Robert. I'm going to stick with Bobby, even though they called him Bobby Roode in TNA too. Bobby Roode was not there. I wish he was. Bobby. Um, yeah. But either way, because I mentioned him, Damian Priest, I wish he did win the Rumble, though. I mean, he had an outstanding showing. And the fact that one of the greats, a.k.a. Kane, a.k.a. Glenn Jacobs, a.k.a. the mayor of Knoxville County, gave him some praise. That was wonderful. I like that. That was I thought that was a good moment. And then to see Edge shake hands with him on Raw, and then also shake hands with Nakamura last night on SmackDown. Or Friday, because who knows when this video is going to be uploaded. But, yeah. I think that was pretty touching. Yeah. But, one thing I want to get right now I'm just out of, like, curiosity here. What champion, okay, do you see right now in WWE that you feel as though does not deserve their championship and either needs to be bumped down or be bumped up? Mm-hmm. With the exception of the women, because most of their championships, with the exception of the tag titles, are just considered the world title anyway. So just for the men, what We're current champion? WWE, right? It could be Raw, SmackDown, or NXT. For those who keep up with it, which right now, I mean, I keep up with a little bit of it, but I don't even remember who the, oh wait, yes I do, Johnny Gargano, Never mind. But yeah, what champion do you see, with the exception of NXT UK, because I don't know if y'all watch that, I know I don't really watch it, but. I I never watch it. I do. Yeah, so. I do. Okay, well then Alex, you can answer for NXT UK if you choose, if you know who the champions are, Mm -hmm. but. For me and Matt, since we don't really watch it like that, just solely focus on just NXT in the U.S. and Raw and SmackDown. What champion do you think deserves to have a championship be bumped up or be bumped down? Or just have no belt whatsoever? This is a question for you guys. I'll answer last. All right, so I'll go in order. McIntyre McIntyre deserves to keep his title, but I would not mind if he were to go ahead and kind of lose it off as uh, long, long as not to Orton to make like a ass motherfucker they didn't even say excuse me 
This dude. As long as it's not to Orton, so they have, so they do, so they do a, a corny ass storyline of it's the final in a match between Edge and Orton this time for the WWE Championship. Fuck off. Uh, I'd rather see him, him, him honestly, uh, honestly get it, get it taken from someone else. Uh, what else there? Bobby Lashley. I mean, you can keep the tag titles. I mean, her business can keep their titles. Honestly, they're doing well with them, but I, I feel like they need to defend them at some point. Like seriously. Um, they just recently defended. Do you not remember when Matt Riddle faced Bobby Lashley and lost, and then Cedric and Shelton uh, defeated? Uh, what is it called? The Lucha House Party. Oh, I didn't realize that. Okay. No. Speaking of Lucha House Party, where's Kalisto? I don't even know, man. I think Kalisto's even on my mind in the middle. Oh, well, he's been quarantined for a minute then, if that's the case. Good. Go ahead, continue. Days. <laughs> but go ahead, continue that, uh, what you were saying. Yeah, like, I'm pretty sure um, when it comes down to it, I think Raw's t- uh, title holders are fine. Well, be specific. Be specific as to which champions. I mean, I mean all of them. Or, all or, of them. Okay. All of them are fine. Go ahead. Though I will say the only bullshit one because they have to because Raw has to unfortunately deal with this is their twenty four seven champion. But I mean, do I really do we really need to talk about that one? I'll talk no, about I'm it briefly, not. actually, because I want to say this right now. Uh, you know what? When the title came in, it was a joke. As we look at it throughout the years, because it's been here for years already, believe it or not. Yeah. <clears throat> um. I've gone to like it, but what I don't like, because the fact that even though it brings a comedic aspect to it, is why does our truth have to be the main one to win it? Uh, because like I get it, he's a funny guy, but goddamn, this this ain't it, Chief. We need we need more truth. people to hold it longer, bro. Apparently, they just want Which... him to hold it because they think that he's more deserving of like that stupid fucking title. I don't know. Like, which, speaking of that title, I mean, and then we mentioned Tamina earlier. Hey, that's the only championship that she's won in WWE, and it's sad because you look <laughs> at the you look at the women's championships. She's won neither of them. Like, god damn. Well, she's and, she, and, you know, and she's a veteran. And what's worse is she went up for the SmackDown Women's title as well, and lost. And lost, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, but. For hell, while she was there, dead ass. And she's a veteran. And That's the only sad. The recent person to beat R2 for before it getting taken back was what was it? Alicia Fox. Yep. When Inside she came back for that little bit. Royal Rumble. Yep. That's how she got eliminated. I forgot all about Alicia Fox. Like, I miss Alicia Fox. Mm-hmm. Rest in peace, Foxy. But yeah, go ahead. Continue with your um. Thoughts, Alex? You can start with SmackDown now, because, uh, you know. I was going to start with NXT yeah. next. Okay, that's fine. So, NXT. Finn Balor, he's given a really good storyline, and he's really just good, because good, like, this is what, the third title he's won, third title reign he's gotten in W, and then the fourth title reign he's Um, let me see. NXT. Universal. Um. Technically. Universal. Yeah, Universal for that one half a day. Not even half a day, like less than a day. Um, Intercontinental. Intercontinental. And yeah, back to NXT. Yep. Yeah. So it's fourth title reign. And he's done Let's just say, with it. technically, okay, you want to say title reign in terms of like winning titles? Sure, you could say fourth title he's won, technically. But technically, it'll be his second NXT championship reign. Yeah. But yeah, I see what your point is. But go ahead, continue. And then... Gargano, I mean, he's, he's, he's made... I got that replica. Oh, I forgot to mention. Yeah, I got the Intercontinental and NXT North American replicas right by my side. You already know. Bling, bling. The, the surprising thing about it is he's made, a, he's making a star of someone who you who you would just look at his name and be like, who's that? And it's like, wow, people now know the name of Leon Ruff because of Johnny Gargano. I already knew about him before him. But how many people really paid attention to him until now? A lot. Believe it or not, a lot. It's just the way how WWE, you know, values people based off how they look and the way how they act in the ring. 
Case in point, Santino Morella. He could actually be a serious dude. I mean, just look at him. However, they gave him a comedy gimmick. Our truth First ever African-American NWA world champion. Look how he acts in WWE. It's fucking ridiculous. And not only has he won it one time, I think if I'm not mistaken, he's won it three times. If not two or four. One of the three that I've said. And they treat him like a joke. At most, that he got what main event status was a WWE championship match with John Cena when he was a heel. And that was only one championship match that he had for a yeah, world title one-on-one on one and lost. Well, he's also had another title in WWE. No, I'm talking about in terms of world championships, like yeah, zero. He has not had a world championship. The good thing about it, though, is he's at least, you can at least say he still had championships nonetheless. Yeah, back when he was Kate Quick with the hardcore title, if I'm not mistaken. The United States Championship twice and the tag titles. Yes. And obviously, currently, uh, what, 48 times? Oh, no, 47 times 20, or whatever the fuck is the, what is the number? Who I don't gives, even who know gives anymore. The fuck? <laughs> hey, it's Christian Miracle know. said, who gives a fuck about Hulu? We'll just wait until it hits 100 and everyone's going to be like, all right, so now we're going to make time. I don't even know anymore at this point. It's just, regardless, comedy act. I'm sorry. But when he was a heel with The Miz, and they had their little team going, I thought they were going to be at least the tag champs. But nope. Mm. Didn't happen. And then eventually, you know, The Miz turned on our truth and then here we go again. Our truth being once again a comedy act. But then we got but, yeah. our NXT title holders. What is it? Well, Bobby we already said Baller. We already said Gargano, so... Yeah, the NXT tag team title holders only looking at Danny Birch. Danny Birch, okay, yeah. They need a team name. I'm sorry, but for them they to just do, come out with their names like that, what the name. fuck? I feel like that would be a lot I mean, better for Edge them. And Christian never had a tag team name. Sorry, what? But the Edge and Christian never had a really a tag team name. I mean, in a way, people gave them a name, but they were never announced as a name. The Reeks of Awesomeness. It wasn't really an official name, but people did say that a lot. Yeah, they even had a show on the W Network a while ago, too. And uh, we canceled it. Fuck them. Along with Camp WWE, man. That, that was funny. That shit was lame. I agree with that. It was but... trash. Hey, they tried, though, but like... They tried, but it was trash. If they actually <laughs> used most of the real voices, I think it would have been a lot better. Like, come on. Who the fuck was Undertaker's voice, exactly? <laughs> like what? I'm like, this sounds nothing like Mark Calloway. Oh, sorry, shouldn't be doing that. I broke the fourth wall. Oops. It's alright, man. We all break the fourth wall sometimes. My forces, yes, sir. Well, then again, didn't Deontay break your wall? Yes, sir. Oh, wait. Fuck Paul. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Oh, wait, no, you broke his wall. You broke his wall. Because remember, you said it sounds like you're talking to a Brock. I said Brock. I miss Brock Lesnar. Leave me alone. <laughs> a, a, a brick wall. A oh, man. brick wall? Excuse me? A Brock wall? Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. Nah, a sorry. Bro- a Brock wall. <laughs> but, hey, how do you feel about Danny, uh, Danny Burton only looking? Uh, I say it, 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 that their time with the titles is going to be interesting. And I do want to see what happens with them. Definitely. Mm-hmm. So it's like, oh yeah, so we just won it off of Brizango, and oh, how are we gonna float it in your face? Fuck you. <laughs> hmm. And then we have the NXT Women's Champion, wherever the hell she is. I have not seen her since. Io Shirai. Io, Sh- Io Shirai, I believe. Since Shirai is Japanese, I think she is from the core team every single now and then. Mm-hmm. Uh, but she, I definitely do, really do want to know who is next up to face her. It's very much curious. Interesting. And then I want to see who's actually going to be... Um, Kind of just next up to her. 
I'm interested. You know who I think might be next? I could be wrong about her name and uh, her appearance because I can't really remember, but uh, Zia Lee. Maybe. Maybe. That'll be a great match. Speaking of the WWE Network, I think they said sometime next month is going to be moving over to uh, Peacock TV. Peacock! No! But before we get into that, though, let's get your opinion on the champions first. And then I have to go through you, of course. Now we got SmackDown. <clears throat> our stuff, our universal champion. I don't need to say anything about him. His presence me. is enough. I don't need to acknowledge him. Oh, no, 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 no. I said, acknowledge me. No. As your tribal chief and savior. You're not going to acknowledge me as your tribal chief. At the very least, acknowledge me as the savior. No. The we Monday. Oh, wait, I forgot he's on. I forgot he's on SmackDown. I was going to say as your Monday night messiah, but never mind. Wait, isn't that Seth Rollins? Seth Rollins is coming. Yeah, Seth Rollins is coming back this Friday. The next week. And then that Messiah, man. Making bloody eyes, man. One at a time. I yes, still want to see Seth Rollins versus Roman Reigns. I'm just saying. I said that too. And that's why I saw if he was, I told my buddy Jose, I'm like, yo, if Seth Rollins was to come back and win the Rumble. And funny enough, he came back at number 29. <laughs> and I said, if he wins the Rumble, he should face Roman for first of title. And that would be great. And I was really going to, like, support that match all the way. Because for one reason, okay, Brock is gone. Remember, Brock and Roman, you know, WWE Championship. Who cashed in? Rollins. Rollins won. This would be a way to have Roman get his revenge in a way by basically, even though it makes no sense to an extent, but just facing Seth at Mania. No Brock, unless Brock decides to get involved this time. And kick ass. We already got like a new Brock Lesnar that, that just signed recently too. So. His son. I'm, I'm not putting my hopes on that yet. The, the family, the family dollar version. Nah, he actually looks pretty good. I'm not gonna cap. He looks no, no, good. No, He's no, a... no, I make a little joke. <laughs> they like the the dollar general version of Brock Lesnar. That's not Brock, man. That's freaking uh, Rock Rockalina. So yeah, that's that. Um, but you can continue with the rest. I see title. Let's you. <laughs> this nigga, bro. Biggie, come on, Biggie deserves it. Like this is what his official second I see title run. Yes, the second. Hmm? He got his, his first Intercontinental Championship run was at the hands of a guy named um, Curtis Axel, who is no longer with us. I mean, he's still alive, obviously, but you know what I mean? He's not in the company. Which, speaking of which, that's the same design of championship that I have over my shoulder right now. But, yeah. You guys good? Uh-huh. You yeah, guys just got. You guys just got quiet. You know. Uh, I know just got real quiet. Yeah, no, I'm trying to think. Oh, I got, my, I got my thoughts back. All right, so our damn, you forgot who the tag champs were. Yes, but now I got Dolphin Ziggler. Uh very unexpected for them to win. <laughs> this dude said Dolphin Ziggler. <laughs> Dolphin Rude. Fuck. Shut up. Shut up. I just caught that. Dolphin Ziggler. Yeah. Shut yes. the fuck up. Ziggler has both sets of. T- yeah, I'm the tag team champions. This is Kane and Daniel Bryan all over again. Dolphin Rude. Yeah. Have. It's nice to see them win, but I feel like they could have gotten a bigger a bigger pop off if they if it would be on um more of a bigger stage. Uh huh. 
Like, I feel like if Adolphus is ugly to win, that probably could have a WrestleMania moment for them. Maybe that's just my mm-hmm. opinion. Maybe that's just my opinion on it. But that's what I feel. Remember, Matt's not uh, next after you, so who knows? But yeah. yeah. Um, and finally, Tasha Banks, our SmackDown Women's Champion. Well, she's been doing good with it. She's gotten a really good feud with Carmella going, and you know, if she does face Bianca Belair, I do hope Bianca wins because, again, I would mean that we're putting a newcomer, a very much one of the new blood, into the sh- into the shine. Black power, bitch. Can't hear it, but the fist is in the air. Already know. I can tell. Fists in the air and the other hands up because I don't want to get shot by a cop. Come on, son. This dude. Come on, son. Why you got to go there? I told you I'm offensive. (laughs) All righty. Oh, on Twitch, too. That's insane. Yeah. Yeah. Put your hands up. Nigga. I like the current status of the champions right now. I, I wouldn't really change anybody. But, but uh, if I really had to, though, uh, even though this this will probably never happen, I get the U.S. title off of, off of Lashley and I give him like a possible like a world title. Other than that, that's pretty much it for me. All right, <clears throat> I'm gonna start from the bottom up. Uh-huh. NXT. Tim Bowler. I'm happy for him. He's doing great right now. Tremendous. I love the work. Love the feuds. Feud with Kyle O'Reilly was the top-notch one. Can't wait for the one with him and Pete Dunne. That rhyme was unintentional, and I did not mean it. But either way, uh, the tag champs, only Lorcan and Danny Birch. They need to drop the belts. Oh. So who? I don't care. Maybe they got all the Day Fantasma. Since the one champion that Alex forgot was the Cruiserweight champion. Oh, yeah. Um, the Cruiserweight champion can stay, but the tag champions need to go. They can lose it to them. That would be great because they're not doing anything. I mean, granted, they're going to be soon when this whole Dusty Cup is over. But right now, nah. Nah. And then as far as the women champion, where is Io Shirai, bro? No, like, like seriously, where is Io Shirai? Like, I, I have not seen her since Quarantine, maybe? War Games. I haven't seen her since War Games, and I hardly watch NXT. But, God damn, I have not seen her since War Games at all. Watching more than AEW. I hardly been watching AEW as well. <laughs> Sorry. Um. Now, Raw coming in that second. Actually, no, let's use SmackDown. Because to me, Raw, we're going to get to that in a second. SmackDown, Roman Reigns, keep it up. I knew this heel turn was going to come. I wanted it for a while, as I'm pretty sure all of us have. That almost makes me feel more happy that he's a champion. Even though, like I told our fellow friend Deontay, like, hey, uh, it's still being shoved down our throats that he's the champion. But in a good way, in a way where he's... Being able to say what he wants to sing on the mic, do what he wants to do. Unlike some people here, <clears throat> Alex and M Gamer not acknowledging me in this chat, but that's okay. Oh wait, um, you talking about? Well, actually, it doesn't matter. Okay, so let's talk about. I'm hungry too. I'm under order. I'm sorry, you go. This nigga, you hungry? Some meat, pause. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I mean, like in terms of Ryback formation, you hungry? Hmm? Pick it up. Good, Pick it up. Right. Pick it up. I had some, uh, I had some ice cream bars for breakfast this morning, so I, I'm pretty good for right now. Mm. By the way, by the way, if I disappear at some point, uh, that's because I'm pro- my mother's probably downstairs with groceries. That's me. fine. Um, we can, no, we can just acknowledge when we leave, groceries. like an hour ago. Of course, we got to acknowledge when we leave for, like, temporarily purposes, but that's okay. Or temporary purpose. Nothing said temporarily. But um, going back to SmackDown here, the uh, tag champs, um, Rude and Ziggler, I'm happy they won. 
but they need to start getting some defenses in bad before I give up on them. I don't necessarily like that new theme song because in the beginning, I thought it was about to be like a whole beer money thing without the whole beer money, but it was kind of like a country, like hardcore, like weird vibe to it where I thought of beer money from TNA, which was just rooted in James Storm. But um, that's how that goes. So just put in some more defenses. That'll be great. Although, so what way is James Storm? James Storm is back in Impact Wrestling right now. Okay. I, I remember like a long time ago, I remember he was like appeared in NXT for a bit, but other than that. Yeah, and that. then he left because Impact was trying to offer more money, which they did, I think. I don't remember the whole backstory behind it. And then he went to NWA, became NWA uh, US champion, and then he became NWA tag champion with uh, Eli Drake. If we could get James Storm to come back to the WWE, give it a doff. To put him and Rude back together, we get the beer money. That's the thing. That's what James Storm wants, and so does Rude. But it's a matter of when at this point. Because remember, they're not getting any younger. You know. But um, yeah, like I said, Rude and Ziggler. I, I love the team, Dirty Dogs. Uh, even though they're probably not going to announce them as that coming to the ring, but the theme song is a eh. And as far as the belts go. I personally think, truthfully, like I said, they need to get in some more defenses because if they don't, it's going to be a problem. I mean, they've had them for quite a while at this point. So I'll give them a chance, of course, because I love them both. Sasha Banks. I love the fact that she's a champion and the fact of one thing. And that's the fact it's not like her Raw Women Championship ranks. And for those who don't know, it's simple. At times when she would defend it, instantly lose it every time. She actually finally has a women's championship reign where she can actually say she successfully retained her belt on multiple occasions. Although, be it as it may, most of those occasions were either Bailey or Carmella at this point. And then the I'm trying to think. Right, and if I know a champion, Big E. Truthfully speaking, I'm not really wanting him to be the champion right now. I don't. I'm sorry for those who love him, but I, I don't really care for him to be the champion right now because I feel like he could be doing so much more. I mean, as many people have said, Hey, have him face Roman Reigns, Universal Champion. Give him a world title run at least, or even just a world title match. Yeah, that, that's what people wanted as well. And I agree 110%. I have, I actually have someone who I know disagrees on it. The only reason why I would disagree on it is because Roman Reigns is probably just going to kick his ass. But I, I agree to it because it's like, hey, Big E deserves it. He's a powerhouse. Roman Reigns also a powerhouse. I think it has the potential of being a good match if you set it up right. That's it. Yeah. I know kind of like this whole... I, I know people who, as of right now, are kind of just like, um, he's not ready. It's kind of like saying. I would say he's ready, but he really needs to quit with the jokes. Like, the whole New Day shtick, leave that with Xavier and Kofi right now. They're on Raw. I'll New get to them in a day? second. But Big E being the single star that he is again, he needs a vibe where he can be kind of like how he was back then when he was helping out Dolph Ziggler during his world. Yeah, during Ziggler's world title run. He needs to have that type of vibe back. But without that, then I don't know. I feel sorry for him. And I don't see nothing happening. You think uh, breaking up, well, you know, they didn't really break up. Oh, splitting apart Kofi and uh, Xavier with, uh, between Big E, do you think it was worth it? No. I mean, in ways, yes, because at least Big E is getting the singles run right now, and it's great because that's what people ask for. But in ways, no, because now it leaves Xavier and Kofi to not really be doing much at all. They're just feuding with Mustafa. Oh, let me correct that. Mustafa Ali. And Mustafa. Retribution. 
to which that feud is going where? I have no clue. It's really, it, it, this feud really is just Kofi Kingston and Mustafa Ali. Or Mustafa, you can't say Moose, so Mustafa, whatever. Look, and I love Retribution, but that's really what this whole feud is really solely based off of between them. But seriously, though, I don't think it was worth it at all for that split. But now that I mentioned them, going on to Raw here, um, I'm going to start with R-Truth. Like I said earlier, I, I don't see the purpose of him really having the belt so many times. I'm happy for it. But um, just give it to somebody else at this point. He's won, like, more than anybody since this belt's existence. What is it? Again, 48, 50, 90? I don't fucking know. But he needs another, like, he, I feel like, personally speaking, if you look back at his second U.S. title run, I don't remember who he defeated for it and this whatever, but truthfully speaking, I'd rather he had had a longer run with that rather than consecutive runs and reigns with the 24-7 title. Because to me, it's a joke of a title again at this point. And it's just getting even more and more worse, and it's sad. But um, that's just how I interpret that. As far as Lashley goes, same with you, Alex. I feel like Lashley is deserving of a world title. Um, now, that's not to say that he should drop the U.S. title. I think, personally speaking, MVP can take the U.S. title. And then you can give Lashley the world title if it came down to it. It would, you feel me? It would give it, it, it that same vibe that it did that uh, NXT with Undisputed, Undisputed Era. Or the same vibe with Evolution. You know, back when Dave Batista and Ric Flair had the tag titles, Orton had the Intercontinental title, Triple H was the world title. I, I, know. I just wanted to make it at least, like, more modern. Oh, recent. Recent. Yeah. I got you. Got you. Yeah. Got you. Got you. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's the only reason I did that. Okay. Makes sense. You good. Um... But yeah, Lashley's great. I mean, the only thing that is annoying me right now is this whole feud with Riddle because it's it's a big what the fuck to me. Lashley can do so much better than that, or let's say Vince, since the Vince is the one who's booking most of the matches. But then again, I heard Vince is not really in any influence most of these things anymore. So it is what it is. Um, the women's champion Oscar. I love Oscar, but she needs to drop the belt. I don't want her having the belt anymore. I'm sorry, but the belt's a prop. Now, she hardly defends it. I don't even remember the last time she f- defended the shit. That's how bad it is. Because ever since her and Charlotte became the tag champions when they did, which we'll get to here in a second, because I think that's another thing you forgot to mention, Alex. Um, oh, yeah, the women's tag titles. It's not a good look. Yeah, it's not a good look. It's really not. And if Oscar's not going to defend the shit, then why have it? At that point, she was nothing but another Bailey two belts, again, you know. But at least Bailey defended her belts. You feel my vibe, yeah. you know. Now, since I brought them up, the women's tag champions, congratulations to Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax. I'm glad they beat Charlotte Flair and Oscar for it. Um, my only problem, though, is I don't want the reign to be too dominant to where's though. It doesn't feel as though the other team doesn't have an advantage. I'm gonna pause it real quick because I got a, 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 a little bit of Twitch channel points real quick. <clears throat> Yeet. Okay. Go ahead. So, like, um, essentially, <clears throat> make the rain worth it, but not too dominant to where the other team doesn't have a fighting chance. Uh, no pun intended to James Ellsworth, but um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I really feel as though it's just necessary. Like for example, if you let's say you know we aren't ladies, say it was me and Alex being the tag champions versus Matt and Tyreen, don't have it to where as though we dominate most of this match and then we get in like five percent of offense. Like even if it's not fifty fifty, make it seem as though they're a- like able to possibly win, but they don't. Like for people who fight them, you know what I mean. Um, 
And that brings me to the world champion, Drew McIntyre. Honestly, I'm happy. And I'm it's it's great that he won the belt back, but I'm at a point where it's like at what cost? Because I'm tied between it's like I'm cool with him being the champion, but I hate the fact, and this is an overall thing with WWE, where they only allow for certain contenders. And, you know, this kind of goes back to when, you know, outside of this, you know, whole thing with me, Matt, and Alex right here doing this, like, I used to tell the guys, like, yo, I feel personally there are some people who deserve a championship match or at least a spot in the main event who are worthy of main event status, even if they don't win the belt. And I feel like there are so many other people who are deserving to be a number one contender, but they just keep reusing the same old guys, and it's getting annoying. And I feel like that's what most of Drew McIntyre's reign is all about, with the exception of Goldberg, which I'm happy he beat Goldberg at Royal Rumble, because had he not, ooh, I would have I flipped shit. I would have really flipped my shit. But he can keep it up. Like I say, I mean, I'm happy about the reign, but I just feel like there are people who can just face him that probably haven't already. I or mean, even if they haven't yeah, already... I say two still stand out to me as really good title defenses that he did. Say what? I, I still see two matches that kind of stick out to me as really good title defense matches. What matches are those? Him versus Bobby Roode. And then uh-huh. him. Well, you can't use Bobby Roode because Bobby Roode's on SmackDown. I say when they actually had the match. Oh, yeah, right, 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 right. Go ahead. And then, because, like, these are, like, two that I know that he had a match against. And that was actually for the belt, if I'm correct. Um, and they were good matches. So it was him versus Bobby Roode. And then him versus Heath Slater. The match with him and Slater was in the title match, though. Well, okay, but well, then that then- is an example of what I mean, though. I'm glad you did say that. That is a good matter of fact, that's a perfect example to what I mean though. Because literally I personally always have believed that H. Slater has it to be in the main event, but he was just never given a chance. Except when he won the tag titles, and that was it. With Rhino. And look at him now in impact with Rhino doing what? Nothing. Is he even with Rhino? Like Last I checked he signed to a contract. He signed in to a Impact contract, wrestling. but I don't think it's with Rhino because the last time I saw him in Impact Wrestling, he was fighting it by himself. Well, then I have no idea. I mean, I also remember the fact when it was another part of the contract. That Rhino would and give was... up his. No, not that. It was another part, I think, after that, if I'm not mistaken, where it was stated that there was something that... um. It was something. I can't really remember every the, the whole details, but it was... Something to where as though, um, I think it was just another part to the contract, but Rhino never told him what it was. And my thing is like, okay, well, it is what it is, but at what cost now at this point is how I'm looking at it. Because what is Heath even really doing? I don't know, but... Either way, that's still a perfect example of what I mean. Because like I said, I feel as though there are people who are worthy of main event status, even if they don't win said belt, but they just don't get the chance. Mm. And I think that's the part that's the most, I guess, harsh in the sense, you know? Yeah. But now, if it is not meant to be. That's fine, I suppose. I just still feel as though there are people who, if McIntyre can't defend against them, then it's like, what's the point of him having the belt? Because to me, a champion should defend against anybody and everybody. It shouldn't always have to be just former champions and people who haven't had the belt. And that's just how I'm looking at things right now. It's like every title defense that has been put thus far has been against someone who has either been a former world champion or just a champion of some caliber. And it's not fair. Truthfully speaking. I feel as though it can be done. 
to where we can see more people, like, hopefully get a shot. But that's up to Vince and the rest of the board and for them to decide. So that's just how that goes, honestly. But if the time comes where then they do decide to go with it, at the very, very least, please, and this is not, not me begging, this is just me being straight up, they need to start doing things a proper way to where everyone is treated a little bit more equal. Not just feed us somebody and expect us to be happy, but just enough to where we're happy to know the fact that, hey, look, WWE is actually trying this time. Because if they don't, more and more havoc is going to rain upon different things. Like, even right now, I know there's a lot of people who don't like Roman Reigns being the Universal Champion. Me, personally, I think it's good because it develops the heel character a little more. Although, like I mentioned earlier, it does make sense of the, why some people may be upset because it still feels like, you know, he's being shoved down our throats. But I get it, though. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It helps just build the character that we see right now. And if we didn't have that build, then his title reign is just as pointless and not even worth having, if that's the case. To which then I must say, who would be Universal Champion? Because Kevin Owens is not going to be. Although I love the feud, but it's getting boring at this point. But who actually would end up being the Universal Champion then? That's something that a lot of people got to think about. That I feel like a lot of folks just look at it like, uh, I'm tired of this shit with Reigns. I'm tired of this shit with him being the champion. And all this other shit. But then it's like, okay, cool. You're tired of it. Great. So am I. But now who would you put forth being the Universal Champion? And when you put that question in the air, not a lot of people can honestly tell you straight up who in their mind would be a perfect fit to be the champion because there's not a whole lot of people that we can really pick from because of the way how WWE puts things together. And that's the downfall of everything because with WWE not knowing how to put these different things together, now when the time comes that we want a champion that we can rely on and a champion that we can depend on to do the things that we would like to see done, we're not going to get it because the simple fact where they don't build enough stars to make them feel as though they are worthy of being a champion. Drew McIntyre is an exception because he's always been labeled as a chosen one, but that doesn't mean the fact that he always has to be the one to be a guy to have the title all the time. Same thing here with Roman Reigns. He's a good guy in terms of superstar, as at least right now with his moveset and everything. Gotta love it. But if he wasn't the champion, who could they build and possibly make the champion to where everybody's happy? And not a lot of people are eligible for that, sadly. Yeah. They're just not. Because of the way how they're booked and the way how WWE perceives them to be. Especially with COVID still being around, too, that makes it a whole lot harder. Welcome back, even though you didn't even tell you. You're like, hey, here you are. But yeah, that's just how I interpret that. Um, as a bonus, even though it's not a championship, the Miz, I would love to see him cash in on the Universal Championship. Don't come at me for it. I'm just saying, honestly, he deserves another world title. It doesn't necessarily have to be the WWE title. And that's the good thing about it. So at some point, I would love to see him Universal Champion. But if it doesn't come to be, and he does cash in to be WWE champion. I want us to finally get t- to the point where Morrison can then break free. And then Morrison can challenge him for the WWE championship. And they have their little view going on. Because right now, ever since John Morrison been back, he hasn't really done a whole lot of shit. At most, it was just a SmackDown tag title reign, which didn't even last that long. And that was it. Yeah. But those are my thoughts on it. And if anybody here is beeping or buzzing, it's my phone with each location. But yeah, that's that, that's pretty much my thought on that whole aspect. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's, that's that's definitely reasonable. It's definitely reasonable. I heard a lot of cops at the crib. Petrol boom and make it boom. 
Oh, I didn't do it. You, you, you better pack up, Alex. They're they coming to get you. Alex be the type of nigga to run outside, be like, I ain't do it. Cops come back around with the sirens, be like, wait, what, nigga? Wait, what? wait hold on. Let, let, let's put the block. <laughs> I see, what I'm, did you say? I didn't do it. It's like, what? Oh, and he got his hands up in the air, too. Like, yo, hey, hold on, man. I ain't do it. But you know what? It was going to be worse. They still going to put him in cuffs either way. Just saying. They still going to put you in cuffs either way. And be like, all right, sir, you're coming to jail. What, what am I doing? Well, why? 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 Why am I going to tell for? Because uh, false identity? Oh, sorry. That was a personal thing. Hey. As soon as he puts his hands up, he's like, wait, man, do it. Because, uh... What the fuck? Whose gun was that? No, no, it's me. I just... oh, no, 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 no. Whose gun was that? Matthew. Put it away. That's my drone. I'm never lacking. Put it away. Be civil. And again, who knows how be to be civil? Be you fucking. Shit, who knows how to be civil nowadays, man? Like, that, that shit non existent. You're a fucking. Oh, wait, I forgot. Can't can't do that. Never it's mind. Fucking. Mm. Never mind. Let's not. Let's not act like I said anything. Fucking. <laughs> Nah, I'm really not saying we are on a Christian server. <laughs> a Christian server, a Christian server, huh? All we right, we yeah, ain't Christian on a Christian server. server. Yeah. We're on my Twitch. This ain't Christian for oh. shit. So I can say whatever I want then, right? Without no acknowledgement and no ban, no nothing, right? Uh, because remember, you said I can't. Answer. You said I can't say certain words, and that's what's making me mad because I was about to say a certain word that you told me not to say before this video. So like, um, which one was that? Um, you, you know the word, bro. Just just know that now. You know the word. You know, trust me. You know, you know the word. Okay. As long as it's you not banned, the look. As long as it's not banned by Twitch. I it's a word that I can't say because you said I can't say it. So I'm not gonna. Say it. Is it because it's banned by Twitch? I don't know if it's banned by Twitch because I don't really mess with Twitch like that. I just know the fact that you told me I can't say it. I'm like, okay, fine, fuck it. I know that there are a few words. It's bad enough I'm even saying nigga because you said I can't say it with the uh, the, as Matt once said, the hard uh, R. So yeah. yeah, they also banned the hard R. So you know what? You can ban my hard A. Wait, pause. That didn't come. Up. That's, a, that's, a, that's a little. You, that's a you, little you, sus. You, that's a little sus. You, you didn't. You didn't hear that. That's a little sus right there. I don't think we're gonna have to vote you off the plane. All right. Well, goodbye, everybody. No, I'm just kidding. All right. Hey, here's the topic. Okay. Relationships. Okay. Well, I'm going to point out real quick. This is going to be the last topic because I realized we are an hour in. God damn. Damn, we didn't even talk about much. <laughs> we talked about WWE. Hey, man. And an hour passed by. <laughs> that was fast. I know, right? Well, let's, move, let's, do, let's try to at least do two more topics. Two more? Okay. How All about right. you guys... How about you guys come up with the two topics? Because mine's was WWE. Well, you can talk so, about the relationships if you want. Yeah, you I think we'll, I think we'll go ahead and talk about relationships. Um, I suck at them. <laughs> Aren't you in one though? No. Used to be. Whoa! What I've been missing out on? Hold on. So I'm out. Okay, so I talked about this. I talked about. Me, I was like, whoa! What happened? I thought I actually told uh, told you, uh, you. I thought I guess I just didn't. Nah, so, y'all people don't, don't be telling me jack shit. shit. So let me explain. You people like don't this. be telling me shit. Let me explain like this. Uh, uh, put away your fucking gun, or else I'm going to snap your motherfucking. Hey yo, hey yo, <laughs> cut that shit back deep in your throat. Pause. <laughs> Okay, I'll show oh, something deep down your throat. Okay, no. <laughs> oh, what? You finna do what to me, my guy? You finna do what to me, my guy? Anyways, anyways, let's get back to the topic. No, no, no! Uh, what you finna do to me? Anyway. <laughs> anyway, this gay bitch-ass dude telling me I'm gonna shove something deep down your mouth? Hey, yo, you know what, fam? Get, get out of here. You know, we don't need your kind around me like that no more. Get out, get out of here. Goodbye. Like a two I'm taking over. Man. Get, get around those mullers. No, I'm not leaving. This, is not <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker, I swear to God. <laughs> I came back for the one time, man. 
Anyways. <laughs> uh, with my relationship, I ended it personally because I knew that I was starting to lose my fucking mind because of my workplace. And I didn't want to do anything that were to hurt her. Will be that even <coughs> worse than what breaking up would do. <laughs> so, uh huh. That was kind of my call on. I'd rather either make sure you're okay by having to fight demons alone. I felt it. Oh. And I'm, I'm going to be real, real honest with you guys. People have talked to me about this. And actually, nah, I'll leave this for off stream. Yeah, we can talk about that in a private chat. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. definitely, definitely. Yeah, that's, that's a private matter. Sorry, folks. Um, so, yeah, so I, but I can say being single, a single is really, it, it just made people question me now. Because uh, I can say some weird shit. Sometimes it's not about the weird shit. Sometimes it's about the shit that you shit on shit type of shit. You feel me? Exactly. I, that didn't make no sense, but yet you said exactly. It should okay. be too deep, man. You gotta make sure is that even shit or is that in your, your entire body? Exactly. Hey, man, Matt, we all know it's your body, my nigga. That's all you even what? know. <laughs> oh god, no bodies. Oh, no. Well, wait, I forgot. You ain't got no bodies because you're yeah, a man. Man, I already said it before you did. Man, I got no bodies. <laughs> Ah, see, you almost got me slipping. I was oh, about yeah, to say I forgot something. He I doesn't have say. a body count. Ah, oh, wait. Because <laughs> you're. I got an anime. Can I just say? Can I just say you're a a a a a, a certain word? That, um... uh, 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 no, because unfortunately that one starts banned. with the starts yeah, with the banned. starts money off this door, man. start with the. This is how you go to. Can, the can I, how about the? Okay, can I at least say the ending? Yes. I'm gonna pronounce it differently, as in the like the drink. You're a gin, so uh, Mr. Gin, please keep note that um, yeah, yeah. I'm totally a gin. <laughs> you using your hand does not count as an act towards uh, certain pleasure. You feel me? So nah, um, man, I'm doing uh, research with that hand. Until you get a body under that belt, get the fuck out of here. Does it matter what kind of body? You know what? Put your hands up. I will not, officer. Put the hands up. I will not, officer. Why wow, you sound like you're trying to do something? <laughs> that that's scary. I don't like you. That that sound no. I don't like that. That's weird. That, that's really fucking weird. Like, I'm over here shaking. No. Anyways. Either way. <laughs> and in terms of relationships, for me, it's a no-no right now. Yeah, because, you know, no offense to the ladies out there. Because I'm not, you know, I don't roll both ways like these two gentlemen. But, um, you know, truthfully speaking, a lot of y'all ladies need to get y'all act together, right? Because it's one thing where you want to blame a guy for why I get done dirty. But y'all don't ever look at when the guys get done dirty, you know? Y'all always want to talk about some, oh, you trying to change the ones who are, you know, doing y'all dirty and all this other crap. What about the guy who's trying to change a good girl? Or sorry, the bad girls who do done dirty. Or even if you're not a bad girl. But just the fact of the cheating, because I've done my research and I've done my history over the years. A lot of y'all tend to cheat a lot more than us guys, whether y'all believe it or not. I have video evidence of it. Don't come at me for it. However, if you do come at me for it and Alex tells me, I'll gladly drop you a video of a girl who even said it in her video and many other ladies have supported her in her saying that and understood what she meant. But it's the fact where a lot of y'all females need to realize, like, while us guys may not go through everything I go through, we go through enough. And I'm not saying that to be petty I'm not saying that to be like a Debbie Downer. I'm not saying that to just dick ride anything. I'm saying it because it's true and because it's the fact where a lot of females don't take the time to really look at what they're putting a guy through anymore because they're so focused on everything that they wanted. And it's messed up because, you know, y'all talk about some, oh, for us guys, we all talk about trying to do this and trying to do that and don't want to see y'all females do it. No. 
because you have the right. But at the same given sense, you shouldn't then make your man, or any other guy for that matter, feel like dog shit just because of certain things that he feels as though it is best for you because of him trying to make things better for your life. And I think that's the hard part about a lot of this stuff because not a lot of females, and I was just discussing this with a female recently, but her name shall not be known, but you don't really know your boundaries. And I will admit there are guys who don't really know there either, but at the very least, at the end of the day, there's one thing that has always been said, so I can just keep this short, and whether a lady out there wants to agree with this or not, when a guy cheats, even if he does you so dirty that you don't want him no more, he knows who to come back to. When you girls cheat, you girls then continue to try to be with that person that you cheated on us with. But then have the nerve to come in our face and tell us, hey, it ain't like, like that. It's just a friend. Don't worry about it. It's not right. I'm sorry. It's really not. And that needs to stop. And then I just hate those females who then want to play innocent. All my exes are guilty of this. Again, not saying names. But for those who want to do dirty, but then you want to do right for those who don't give a damn for you. Why is that the case? Why is it that you don't like the fact of yourself being done dirty, but you do dirty to those who actually care about you and are willing to try to make something work of a relationship with you? Like, really ask yourself those questions. Because a lot of y'all girls don't understand what it takes for a guy to give his all and you choose to not acknowledge him in the way how he would like you to, of the actual boyfriend or husband or fiance, whatever they may be, to you in that moment until it's too late. And now when it's too late, you're left wondering, oh, you know, all these guys are the same and all these guys are like this and that. Which, again, I left a video about this on my channel. So, again, if, you know, you got a chance to watch this and I'll put my channel in the description. It'll be under a series called 20 Seconds. Not all guys are the same. They're not. It's just the guys that you continue to date that are the same. And that's the failure of you guys, or sorry, females, dating those guys because of the simple fact where y'all don't take the time to realize, like, huh, there's other guys out there that I could date, but y'all choose to reject them. Now when y'all get rejected, y'all are left wondering and thinking y'all not shit. And truth be told, I'll be honest and say, a lot of y'all are not shit. Because you can be the baddest bitch of them all, but if you want to continue to sit here and reject guys and think a guy is not shit because of certain things, but then you get mad because he then rejects you or whatever else may come up anything that you deal with, chances are it's probably because of something that you have started first. However, you just chose not to look at it in the way you probably should have. And that's what makes you fail. So just keep note of that. Do better. And that's all I'm gonna leave you with because for real, for real, I've talked about this long enough, both in the past, not on my channel too much, which I might eventually, but enough to where though you fellas understand what I'm getting at here. So I'm gonna take it to Matt now to see how he looks at it. If he wants, if he's even here still, I don't know what the hell he's doing. Honestly though, I've been through my fair share of uh, relationships up and down. I mean, it happens. Uh, no relationship is perfect. Nobody's perfect. Let's just get out of the way right now. But uh, as of right now, my relationship status, I'm currently single. And I I am not ready to mingle. I'm just uh, going to take my time with it. If, if the time comes, we'll, I'll probably talk to a female or whatever. I'll be... Do you well, know that, like I said, I, I'm just trying to take things slow for right now. Do you know what's so funny about that? Cause one of my friends, a lot of my my like online friends is like, I mean, you, I know, like my online sister, you usually go to me. It's like you know, one of the people people inside of our family is close by you. If like you really, if it comes to a point that you really want to get yourself laid, I could just ask her to go over to you. I'm just like, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> what in the sweet home hey. Alabama is going well, on hey, here? At least you'll be able to get laid. I don't remember the last. Oh wait, yeah, four years ago. Let's that was my last pussy. body count. Three, three, because I only have three pussy? bodies. But it'll be pity pussy. Oh, uh, so could I take over? Shit. Fuck you. I could add another body to my belt. Right fuck you. 
can't. Sorry, sorry. I can't. I can't. Fuck you. I'm your Listen, guy. You gotta, I'll, fuck I'll guys. You, man. you got fucking you show, bitch. I was gotta show. Show me some like respect. Sorry, on. 1080p. No, it's time that that nigga give me some respect. Put some respect on my name. We're just gonna move on. <laughs> okay, consider what you're saying, Matthew, Your Honor. Matt. Oh yeah, that was pretty much that was pretty much it though. It wasn't really not, nothing else. Thanks, oh wait, uh, no, it was it was actually uh, Alex trying to say something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, Alex. I don't remember what I wanted to say. You were trying to say something <laughs> regarding the fact that there was just one uh, sister that you got online based that um, was telling you about a female that you could hit at any time. She would just, um, you know, match things up. And then you were either going to talk about, I think, I don't know if it was going to be something good or bad because you never really said regarding that, that you liked or disliked. I don't know because you never. No, because really I know, it, I, know yeah. I know, I know, I know the girl she's talking about. Like, she's like, she's part of our family and like, I know her very well. She's like literally one of my friends. And also, now that I think about it, also in my online sisters. Damn, he, he's trying to fuck the family. Literally. Damn. The fuck up. <laughs> incest, <laughs> incest, dude. Come on. Incest. Why, why, why you Come doing on. this sweet home Alabama stuff? Listen. I thought we, do, I was, listen. I thought we were better than that, Alex. No, we're not. <laughs> damn, Alex, damn he, he really is white after all. Okay. Damn. Okay. okay. You know what? <laughs> no. I will end this thing know. right the fuck now, you asshole. <laughs> hey, you keep that over there. Don't bring that near me. Thank you. Hey, Alex, can you do me a favor? What? Let me get a yeah for the one time. No. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> I learned how to clap your cheeks the right way. Yeah. yeah. And this is where I take my leave. Okay, goodbye, everybody. No. <laughs> oh, you actually ended the shit, didn't you? Bitch. Oh. Hey, at the end of the day, guess what? This dude was choking on that meat. Choking on the meat. Ch choking on the meat. He's trying to fuck his sisters. Wow. Possum. Gotta be like Pac-Man. I, I was be pulling off the Pac-Man. Waka, 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 waka. All up in that pussy. Oh, up in the UK. Get old fucking ball. Right? <laughs> huh? Y'all understand? And y'all are still live and recording, right? Of course. <laughs> of course we do. <laughs> I don't care, man. I, I said more. Hey, listen. My screen, then at the end of the say, day, man. listen. At the end of the day, for real, for real, I'm only trying to holler at one person's sister. They know who they is. Okay. Hey, yo, so I'm oh, Gamer. I'm Gamer. What's up with that, yo? Hey, yo. Bro, I, I told you this like a million times already. <laughs> like, what's up? What? I'm rather trying to smile. I'm rather trying to holler. You feel me? I've known it for years. What's going on over there, man? She wants some? Sister. She wants some or she don't. What's up with it? You ain't trying to share, Matt, you? Matt, you trying to split? Be quiet. <laughs> no, I'm being for real. You trying to split? I split? No. So you trying to say that we can't share? Why are you asking like, what like, his what? sister's pussy? What the fuck, bro? Like, what time are you on, son? <laughs> like, I know you've been doing some stuff. I mean, huh? I've been doing when can I get my turn? Huh? I've been you know doing me? some gaming content, man. I haven't been doing nothing. Says the, not having, beats his, says the nigga who beats his. the who beats his dick to hentai. I'm not having COVID sex out here. Hold you, up, you, hold you up, crazy? Hold up, hold up, hold up. I'll still say this. And the nigga who be posting hentai all over my motherfucking server. You were the one that made the server, though. <laughs> but who's the, who's the one that said you had to post it? I mean, he yeah, there for a this is I mean, this is coming from a nigga who beat. This is coming I, from the. 
I'm this is say, coming from the nigga like, Matthew who beats his dick to hentai. It, it, it's not necessarily a guarantee, but you know, like but, it's not but needed. My, but but, but my it's nigga, there, it's there. You can post in it. It's but a free nigga. country, damn it. Stop questioning me. <laughs> he said, stop questioning me. Nah, don't but, question you. But my nigga, who said that you had to beat your dick to that shit? Oh, Alex, man, but like, we gotta get on Alex, though. Like, you the nigga who beating your dick to this shit, though. I need to get on you for a second. What up with that? At least I'm not trying to fuck my sisters. But you already said you fucked Jesus your sister, bro. Right? Christ. Wait, whoa, said... time out. When, when, when did I ever say that? Time <laughs> out, bro. What? Can we end this Wait a minute. thing? Wait, no. Nah, let's last on this for like another, uh, like, 20 minutes or so. Or something. Shit, you've had longer shits than this, dude. I mean, come on. This is my debut. I mean, the, right, the, I'm right. a, I'm a co-founder of this, John. Like, he is now a new co-founder too. It shouldn't really even I'm be new. Technically, quality. technically, it should be just founder. But given the fact this is put on Alex's platform, I gave him the benefit of a doubt. However, if Alex would like to give a little bit of the story, so be basically, a lot better, so I don't more, feel like a dick. This entire, this entire like idea technically was first Monte's idea. And I kind of the one kind of shrugged it off as if I don't know if I could actually do that. And then I did Until, it. and then that's I why. mean, I gotta say though, like, this podcast was definitely a success. You know, that's a success? On his debut, too. That, that's insane. Oh, well, you know what? Hey, Matthew, say the word success again. Success? Doesn't it sound like you're saying six sec, or sick sex? Rather than success. Six, six, six? What the no, look, <laughs> look. Think about it. Success. If you say it fast, it sounds like you're yeah, saying success, sick, success, sex. Success, 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 like. Yeah, success. It sounds like you're saying sick, sex. You want to have six, sex? Oh. See what I mean? See, look, now you yeah, get it. Yeah, like, like, <laughs> yeah, see? That's what it sounds like you're saying. Yeah. I, I mean, I, the I, red I, office is 18 plus for a reason. Am I right? My nigga, get, get my dick out your mouth. You, you didn't have to mention all that now. Just, just I mean, get, out. I, I get, out. Girl, get out, 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 get the fuck out, just get the fuck out. Why are you still here? Get out. Alex, you looking awful quiet over there, my guy. Yeah, because y'all motherfuckers out here doing some random shit. <laughs> Ew, what the fuck? You wanted your yeah, 20 minutes, I gave you your 20 minutes. All right, well, since we, you know what? Let's talk about SEPTA. What's up with the SEPTA keys? I don't mind them. You don't mind them? No. What's your favorite SEPTA route? Yeah, Discord uh, froze on me. Hey, uh, what's your favorite SEPTA route? I mean, personally, my favorite SEPTA route is taking the, uh... which one is it? 103, I think it is. 103? Oh, where to? It's to... Uh, where is it? 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 Sadly, I don't have a 103. Can you give me something else? That's the Grand, that's the grand Plaza. Uh, 65. To where? To 69th Street. All right. Hey, everybody, listen up. Uh, if it plays, that is. Let me clear it first, because I have something I wanted to play. You guys already know what it is, but for those at home who, again, are listening and don't know what the fuck I'm about to do here. Welcome to Route 65, service to 69th Street Transportation Center via City Avenue. I'd be so pissed off if for some reason that I got played. Now, I remember the one time I played y'all and I was playing the 26 announcement. Y'all was like, hold up, so you and Philly? No, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> like, remember this? Welcome to Route 26, yeah. cross town service to Germantown. Yeah, I played that in the video. It made it seem like I was actually about to board the shit. And y'all niggas thought I. Hey, give me another bus route. 26. Frankfurt already played it. Just, 
Welcome to Route 26, Crosstown service to Frankfurt. Is this what we're doing? Is this what we're doing now? I mean, I just probably playing some random announcements. I mean, if you got another, like, I got a lot, but I don't have a lot. If that makes sense. Most that I have on here, how about this? You know what? I'm going to fuck up Alex's brain real quick, and he's going to be like, what the fuck? Because he's never heard it before. But you know what? Where's it at? Um, hold up. I'm trying to remember which one it is. Um, okay, right. Alex, you know about the 14, right? Yes. Where does it go? Something, something Plaza and then Frankfurt Transportation Center. Um, okay, you got Plaza, right? Although it's not really Plaza, but okay, I'll play Frankfurt first. I'll play two of them. Welcome to Route 14. Service to Frankfurt Transportation Center. And? Welcome to Route 14. Service to Frankfurt <laughs> Terminal via Route 1 and Roosevelt Boulevard. And here's one that Alex probably never heard. Welcome to Route 14. Express service to oh, yeah. Frankfurt Transportation Center. Okay. And then you said the plaza, which will really just be two of these, which is this one. Welcome to Route 14. Service to the Chamonix Mall and oh, the Oxford Valley Mall. Mall. Right. And that, well, since you said the Chamonix Mall. Welcome to Route 14. Service to the Chamonix Mall. Now, can I fuck your head up for a second? What? Let me start with this one first. Welcome to Route 14. Limited service to Oxford Valley Mall. Let me guess. That's, and, that's, that's the old one, isn't it? These are cutaways. Or cut back. Or. <laughs> Yeah, cutaways. Yeah, it's yeah, it's an old one because I don't think it exists anymore. I don't think. But welcome to Route Fort Service to Byberry East Industrial Park. No, I know that one. Welcome to Route Fourteen Service to Byberry Road and Northeast Philadelphia. I know that one actually. Welcome to Route Fourteen. Service to City Line and Roosevelt Boulevard. I know that. Welcome to Route 14. Service to Library and Roosevelt Boulevard. You really, really doubt my knowledge on the septum, right? Like, what the Hey, fuck? listen, I'm not doubting you. These are just announcements that are either still around but rare or they're no longer around because they don't exist anymore. Hence, cut back because they were either meant to be implemented but like... never happened or... Okay, so have you heard this one? So you should know this one then. Welcome to Route 14. Service to Langhorn. Yes. Okay, give me another bus that you know before I play this other 14. Matter of fact, I'm going to play it first. Welcome to Route 14. Service to Street Road Industrial Park. I know that one too. Okay, give me another bus that you know. Okay, so you know this one, obviously. Welcome to Route 20, Express Service to Philadelphia Mills via Keswick. Yes? No? Maybe so? Of course. Okay. Welcome to How about the 68? 20, service to I got you next. Terminal via Keswick. Yep. All right. Alex knows this one, I would hope. Welcome to Route 20, service to the Chamonix Mall via Keswick. Yes. But then you're going to hear it again, but it's going to be a little different. Welcome to Route 20, serving the Chamonix Mall via Keswick. Is that the new one? No, it's not a new one. It's the internal announcement voice. When you hear it inside the bus, when the bus leaves, yeah, that's the inside voice. And this boy said 68, so that means, Matt, you need to tell me if you know all these, because I have one, two, three, four. I don't know all uh, of them. I, I just know okay. like one specific one. Okay, which one is that? Uh, the UPS. Which one? For the 68. There's three. There's three? Uh. Okay, I'll just play them out. 
I'll just play them you, you just tell me, yeah. Okay, you tell me which one sounds familiar to you, okay? Yep. Welcome to Route 68, serving the UPS Air Hub. Yep, that, that's the one right there. And then there's this one. Welcome to Route 68, service to the UPS Air Hub via Penrose Avenue. And then there's this one. Hold on. Now, there are one, two, three, four that you failed to acknowledge, which are this one. Welcome to Route 68, Express Service to South Philadelphia. There's <laughs> this one. Where, this is where Alex comes in when he's at the 65. Welcome to Route 68, Service to 69th Transportation Center. Yeah. There's this one. And then there's this one, which Matt should know because he works around this area. Welcome to Route 68, serving Broad and Oregon via Penrose Avenue. Yeah, he got quiet because you know he works around that area. Is there another one you guys know? Is there another one that you guys know? Okay, give me another one. Uh, oh, by the way, I want to give a shout out to uh, my man's Dash five one five five. You can check him out on YouTube, or you can check out his in real life channel, which are where some of these announcements come from. Not all, but a lot. Most of which I got from him. Most of which I've had on my own, and most of which I've got from other videos. But uh, Dash Transit, check him out. Now, what were you about to say? 16. Which one? Uh, I'll just play one of them. If it's more than two, I'll play all of them because that's where you'll probably hear some that you either never heard or that they're old or cutbacks, whatever. But either way, which one? 16. Two. I'll play the one there that's out of your house. Welcome to Route 16. Service to Cheltenham and Odons. You got more? And where's Matt? I don't know. Oh, I think he's always on the phone. See back. Or do you not know anymore? This dude came up in here with a plate of food. Yes, sir. So your boy was hungry. Give me another number. 69. Accept the number. Let's see. 25. Where to? No idea. I just picked randomly. <laughs> Okay, fine. Okay. Welcome to Route 25, Express Service 2, Frankfurt Transportation Center. Welcome to Route 25, Service 2, Columbus Commons Shopping Plaza. Welcome to Route 25, Service 2, Front and Spring Garden. Welcome to Route 25, Service 2, Frankfurt Transportation Center. That's all. All for those. You guys know any others? No, I don't want to go off the top of my head, honestly. Well, just give me a number from the top of your head, even if you don't know where it goes. And I'll just play maybe a couple of them, depending on how many there are. Bro, I can't even think right now. Okay, well, then I'll give you a recent one that I just got a hold of earlier. Not earlier, but like a few days ago. Welcome to Route 124, service to Chesterbrook. 
And then there's this one. But hey, here's the one that you guys should are well. Maybe both of you know it. Okay. I don't think, well, with the exception of Alex, I don't think Matt knows this Welcome one. To Market Frankfurt Owl, bus service to 69th Street Transportation Center via Frankfurt Avenue, Kensington Avenue, Front Street, and Market Street. Well, where route has you been on recently? This is a question more so for you, Alex. Huh? Move to move to Matt for this one. He's eating. I can't really move to him for it because of the simple fact where yeah. Uh, yeah, stuff in his face. Uh, fuck. What the ones I take uh more mainly is like twenty six and the sixty eight. Well, we already did those. Cool. Glad you said 18. So. Welcome to Route 18. Express service to Cotman Avenue and Rising Sun Avenue. Welcome to Route 18. Service to Cedarbrook by a Rising Sun and Alney Avenue. Oops, I messed up. What up? Okay. Welcome to Route 18. Service to North Street and Rising Sun. And everybody's favorite. Welcome to Route 18. Service to Box Chase via Alney and Rising Sun Avenue. Yay. You know, I'm surprised Matt didn't say this one right here. Welcome to Route 23. Service to Chestnut Hill. Or welcome to Route 23, service to 11 and Market Street. Huh. But if you want two of them to where though the trolley used to go to, welcome to Route 23, service to Broad and Erie. Mm. Welcome to Route 23. Hey, I'm beyond the guys. Avenue. I don't know What's what up? just hit me, but I'm feeling way too tired and I need to right now. So I'm gonna end it. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, wait a minute. Hold up. Pause. Are you ending it right now? Yeah, we're gonna do the entire outro. What do you mean the entire outro? Uh, you'll see as I go through it. I also need to put your um a link for you on the outro as well. But we'll I'm about to say thanks for coming. It was nice having me. I'll probably be here next week. All right. You already know, like I said, the YouTube Hardy seven oh three for those who want to follow me. Well not really follow, but subscribe. Yes. Which I would love if you do. It means a lot. Roll to two hundred subs. You already know. Same. Can't really speak for Matt because he just stuff in his face when he get poo built the bear looking at the building. But anyways, shut up, let me do it. Anyways, <clears throat> thank you guys all for joining us for another episode of Red Office. That's uh, crazy. <laughs> if you guys did enjoy, why don't you go ahead and follow everyone on their respective creation platforms. You can go ahead and follow myself on Twitch.tv slash Alexander. You can follow Tyreem on Twitch.tv slash Nadki. You can go ahead and follow Monte on YouTube.com slash Hardy's 7 Fuck. <laughs> Stick it! 703! 703! 703! I'll, I'll, I'll get that right. <laughs> Shut up. And you can go ahead and follow. 703! Shut up! I will get it right. Wait. 
You can go ahead and follow Matthew on Facebook.com slash MGamer99. And also the YouTube channel, also under the same name. Damn. You get your Facebook. Talk about your YouTube channel. Hey, that's, not, that's, good, that's good enough. That's good enough. Why? Because that's your streaming platform, so you get that. I mean, it's not like he doesn't stream on YouTube, too, fam. I'm just saying. Just saying. I'm he saying. He technically is supposed to more stream on Facebook anyways, so. Just saying. Oh, okay. But anyways. Uh, <laughs> thank you, guys. <laughs> hey, yo, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Hey, yo, what's going on? Like, what's going on? Anyways, you, thank you hey, yo, guys Matt, all what for, you doing? Thank you guys all for fucking watching. And we hope to see oh, you guys next Oh, you just thank you all for fucking. Whoa. Shut up. <laughs> thank you guys all for watching. And we hope to see you guys next week for another episode of the Jared's Cats. This is not the Jared's cast. This is the Fuck me. Holy <laughs> shit. I am. Dickhead. I am so tired. Shut up. I'm tired. Dickhead. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm part of a new cast. I ain't know about this. <laughs> well, first of all, can I say one thing for a side note? What? Listen, no disrespect. I got to put this out there. Hey, the Jared's cast. Listen, I talked to Alex about this. If y'all watching this video, then y'all got to the end. Great. If you haven't, Please keep note. I would love to join without, like, you know, criticism. I mean, he's willing to let me join. However, I would like it to where as though if you guys disagree with something about me or anything that I am, like, doing, let me know yourselves in a nice way without being such rude-ass motherfuckers. Yeah, okay, you don't have Thank to you. I'm just saying, Yuna's right there. Well, I mean, hey. Listen, I'm not watching on the Twitch, and, um, hey, look, okay? Look, anyway. I'm just saying, saying, please be nice to me, people, at the very least. not watching right now. Hello. And goodbye. Anyways, thank you guys Hello. all for watching. And hey, this! Jesus Christ. And you, thank Hello. you guys all for watching. I <laughs> Sorry, Alex, we gotta be goofy at the end. You know how we do. Wait, pause. What? That 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 was suspect. What? Okay, I was go ahead. I'm, I'm good. I don't know about Matt because you know he's stuck in his face. But go ahead. Can we like leave a bonus announcement at the end? This man, bro. Wow. So you going to finish it or what? You said something about a bonus hope... announcement, and I'm like, what bonus announcement? Well, I didn't hear you. You probably had yourself on mute or some shit. You didn't yeah, because my fucking, the top of my microphone has a mute button. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I didn't know you were going to mute it like that. Nope, wrong announcement. That wasn't. Either way, but since you said I could leave a bonus announcement here at the end, I'm going to choose this one, because why not? It's one of my favorite routes. Um, a route that I don't think you guys necessarily know too much of. But uh, I'll just play one of them, even though there's two. Welcome to Route 201, Service 2, Fort Washington Office Center. Now, I would have played the L for the losers because, um, yeah, but I'll just toss it up instead. Before we log off all the way, anyway, it's tax season. Get your damn taxes done. I already did my taxes, bitch. Yeah, sure, I did mine last night. Day one. I, I did mine right. day one when my shit sent in the mail. I hey. Mean, I don't know if I have film? taxes. Whoa, wait, pause. What you mean you don't you know if you got w taxes? For your job. Ask your job for your W-2. It's supposed to give it to you. Uh, I guess I'll find out, whatever. Uh, anyways. You're we will grown man. Shut up. Anyways, we will... <laughs> Ah, we will see you guys next week for another episode of the Red Office. Until then, the crew is out. See y'all fuckers later. Bye! Oh, damn. We'll pause. What?